problem number what? 16. Problem number 16. Where it says 8 times 7, or 8 times 7 times 10. So do we add 8 times 7? You do not. It's all multiplication. And you can do it uh, any way that you like. Because of the uh, commutative property, fifth grade, the beauty of this is you can multiply whatever one together first. If you want to multiply 7 times 10 together first, you can get 70, and then multiply that by 8. You could do that. If you want to multiply 8 times 7, didn't we just do multiples of 10? Yeah. And multiply that by 10, you'll still get 5, 6. You wanted to do 8 times 10 and get 80, and then multiply that by the 7 that's still left there, you'll still get 5, 6. Any of the way you want to do it, it's whatever's the easiest for you, actually. Connor? Why did I get number 1? You don't know. Did you do 8 divided by 2 first? Yeah, parentheses have to be done first. What is 8 divided by 2? 4. And then 16 divided by 4 is 4. And make a note to that. When you see parentheses, they have to be done first. Brian? Right. Um, what was the answer for number 6? Number six, 1,222. 1,222. Madison Sipple. What was the answer for number 11? 11, $2.72. Boop. Can you send me the answer? Can you send me the answer? Can you send me the answer? Can you I heard when I, I didn't hear what you said. My hearing is a little hoozy, so. So a number three. A number which one? What did I say? Students? Oh, sure. You should always label. Sophia? A number six. What about six? You need the answer? 1,222. And I have to assume, if you have no other questions, that you've got all the rest of those problems right. I still have noticed many of the problems you get wrong because you don't know your multiplication, addition, and subtraction facts very well, people. You will continue. You will continue to get them wrong until you do. That's just the way this whole thing works. I see a lot of people missing basic addition stuff because they don't know, you know, 7 plus 5 is 12 or whatever. Matthew? Number 20. Well, I would suppose, did you actually look in your notes under what the associative property is, or did you just guess at it? Do we take notes under your associative property? Yes. yes. What does it say in your notes under the associative property? What does it say? We've got the commutative property, we have the associative property that I believe we talked about, and we probably have the identity property. What does it say, Matthew? What do your help say under the associative property? Now, here, look at, look at the main word that comes up twice. And you have parentheses. Which one of those three possible answers has parentheses in it? C. In the associative property, ladies and gentlemen, the numbers stay in the exact same order. It's just the parentheses that change. This time the parentheses are around the four and five. This time it's around the three and four. And those are things you know. You might have to you might have to study that for tomorrow because maybe they won't ask you associative property. They might ask you this one, what property is this? That's the commutative because the numbers have changed places. The numbers move, but they commute from one thing to another. That's commutative property. Multiplying by one is the identity property, and this is the associative property. 
So you may want to may want to spend a little time reviewing that tonight in case they ask you a different one tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, we sing that on slides. Today? Yeah. yeah. And um, <laughs> huh. uh, just like, do we, 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 we,